Hello, everyone. My name is Tim B. Green, and this is Crush It Club, episode 72, Pseudo Science Detector. I just want to show you my lovely picture because I really like the picture I came up with. Fun, playful, and to the point. So this is my second take on this because I took too long. So first of all, I want to ask you, how do you decide uh, what to buy? What process do you go through? Please leave your uh, reply, your answer to that question in the comments. Uh, share this channel, this video, and please subscribe. And then, so now we get to the good stuff. So I have a framework, and that is ask, read, search, and email. There's a couple other points, but those that's the main framework of the pseudoscience detector. And that is ask direct, respectful, honest, polite questions. If you ask an honest question, you're not rude, you're not um, hostile, there's no good reason why they shouldn't be happy to answer the questions, your questions, if they know the answer and what they're doing is legitimate. If they don't know the answer, they can say, well, I really don't know the answer, that research hasn't been done, or Nobody's ever asked me that. Let me check. That would be an answer from somebody who's legit. The second one is, and this is part of an example of asking questions, like, who can I speak to who's experienced positive results from this product but isn't selling it? Because if it's MLM, which so many of them are, which claim to be scientific but aren't, I know because I've actually checked, most of the time, they, the people who sort of give witness are also affiliates. They're selling the products themselves. I want to talk to somebody who's successful enough, wealthy enough, that they use this because it does them benefit. They don't have to sell it, and they're still praising it. So if there's nobody like that, or if you can't talk, talk to somebody who has had direct results with the product, that's another one. It's like, well, you know, my cousins used it, or my brother's father is like, well, can I talk to them? You'll find that they tend not to want you to do that unless it's completely legitimate. Okay. And why wouldn't they want to help you by saying, look, I'll check. And if it's okay with them, I'll put you in contact. And again, why wouldn't they want to do this if their true goal is to help people? So the next one is read. So read, I say this because there's an ionized water out there, just so you know. Um, changing the pH of your blood will kill you. So ionized water, alkaline water is not good for your health. It's not necessarily bad, but your blood actually balances against changes in pH. So the reason I bring this up is because everybody talks about this exotic machine that makes amazing ionized water from Japan. Well, I'm in Japan. And they always talk about a study from the University of Osaka. I read the study from the paper that everybody refers to, and it refers to none of the benefits they talk about when they're selling these machines with their MLM system. The paper said that they use this ionized water, this alkaline water, in hospitals for people with uh, digestive and um, gastrointestinal issues, and that's it, and that it may actually help facilitate better sleep as sort of a side effect or a secondary, but not necessarily causally linked effect, but nothing about all that extra stuff that they always say. So somebody says there's a research that went on in such and such a place. It was like, give, give us the link to the paper or to that research. I'd really like to look at it. And they have no reason not to share that if what they're saying is legit. It just helps sell the product. Okay, now the next one is search. So what this is, is search for consensus among reputable sources who aren't selling the product. So, you know, go on and look at health sites. It's like you can't, if you go look up, are vegetables healthy? It's really hard to find somebody to go, oh no, vegetables are bad for you. Because there's massive consensus across many sources who have no investment, not the you know, the, the cartel of vegetable sellers. That's not really happening. And there's wide consensus because vegetables are good for you and whole food is good for you. 
So that's why it's hard to find people saying no to that. So here's the interesting thing. If it's sciency or they're claiming it's sciency, supplements or methodologies or their training, whatever it is, when you're doing your search, look first for disconfirmation. I usually put scientific proof of da 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 meta-analysis of, and meta-analysis means many studies have been combined together, and they looked at the results of all of them. So that's stronger proof than a single study, which especially if it's paid for by the company selling the product is basically worthless. So look for disconfirmation, look for proof, but look for disproof, stuff trying to prove that it's wrong. The next thing to do to make that a balanced opinion, a balanced search, is look for confirmation. And again, confirmation coming from websites associated with the actual sale, selling or manufacturing is obviously going to be biased. So I would exclude that. So I'd say look for confirmation from sources, sources outside those selling it or affiliated with those selling it who have financial interest. And if they confirm it that it works well well then there's a be much better chance that it works well along with a lack of disconfirming evidence and consensus that is many different sources agree that it works like every source you can look at will say exercise is good for you if it's done properly and in the right intensity and so forth right or physical activity though not necessarily calling it exercise the next one is email the company. Now, I did this with one product where it was a neuroscientist, the one who had actually designed the product and was selling this training. And I says, well, okay, I have a background in neuroscience, but I don't want to really get into the details here because this is a popular audience and I don't want to sort of, you know, I, I want to respect other people and their time too. So please let me email you instead. So they either gave it to me or I tracked it down, but I emailed them and I said, okay, you're saying by training the corpus callosum, which is about here and about there in your brain, that connects the left and right sides of the brain, lets them talk to each other. He says, my training helps increase the connectivity across. And the exercises he showed us, I, I agree, that makes sense from the exercises that it would in fact increase connectivity across the two brain hemispheres. And I said, is there any research specifically about how this helps with cognition, general intelligence, specifically coming from this type of training? They never applied. I've had that happen several times. One was with a company who had a product that was about um, Pomodoro-like effects, 52-17, that's 52 minutes of work, 17 minutes of rest. They never replied. Same with this company who did this uh, bilateral brain training. They never replied. And there was one other one. Oh, yes, it was the authors of a book whose book was essentially a sales portal for their neurologically based training. And they were like for instruction, for learning in general. So what they call pedagogy and teaching. And it was the main framework was excellent. But when I asked them questions, they never replied. I have to ask myself, why didn't they reply? So emailing the company and asking direct specific questions or for references or links, if they don't reply, I would say buyer be very aware, very wary, in fact. And the other one is to people who you're talking to about these products, make a neutral statement and then listen for their answers. So if somebody says to, to me, Tim, you know, I really wish you all the success you deserve. I would feel wonderful and I would thank them profusely because I am working my butt off. I'm giving stuff with and using my training. My methods are based on real science. I would be thrilled because I know it has efficacy or effectiveness. I said this to somebody about a type of salty water MLM thing that you've probably heard of. I'm not going to name it because they might try to sue me. But when I said, I wish you all the success you deserve, they got angry. This suggests priming. That is, they don't necessarily believe it works. Otherwise, wouldn't, why wouldn't they have said thank you, believing that they were actually doing good? The next one is hold companies accountable. If they offer uh, a guarantee 
and you tried the product, it doesn't work, ask for your money back. And finally, if regardless of how the product works for you, share your results if you use a product, whatever kind of product service training it is, honestly, publicly, and widely for the purpose of promoting ethical companies with good products. That's it for Crush It Club 72 Pseudo Science Detector. My name is Tim B. Green. Bye for now.